Hey everyone, welcome to Primal Reef and Acrylics. Today is going to be an informational video on a do-it-yourself or how-to bond weld acrylics. Um, there are many methods of gluing things such as wood, you got the welding method for metal, but whereas, whereas, whereas it comes to um, acrylic, a lot of people are actually confused or don't know how to glue two pieces of plastic together. Um, your conventional method of gluing with your regular Home Depot glue would not work. Um, epoxy, again, it's a substance of glue which, uh, which uh, chemically bonds two chemicals together and then um, it hardens it on whatever surface you want. But whereas it comes to acrylic, it's actually a little bit tougher um, to find little certain information online about this. A lot of companies do actually make them. Um, what it is, sorry, is there's a solution called Weld On 1, 2, 3, and 4. What it is, it's a water substance liquid, very thin, what you see in a little vial here, all right, with, um, I believe it's a 25 gauge needle. When you go to a plastic or acrylic store, um, I'm here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, which is in the Greater Toronto area, the GTA. We have, um, I have a company that I deal with called Plastic Worlds, so if you guys do decide to go down there, the ones that live in the GTA, uh, do refer the, the guys, Michael or Peter, the, at the, the owners of the company that you, you see in the informational videos online at Primal Reef and Acrylics. So, hence going forward, when you bond acrylic, there's two things you really, really have to watch out for. One is the thickness of acrylic you are bonding together. Over here I have a 3 8 uh, yeah, it's 3 8 of an inch. Now the reason why I say thickness is because sometimes you can get acrylics in different sheets uh, anywhere from I believe it's 1 8, 1 16, all the way up to quarter, quarter inch, 3 8, half an inch, 3 quarters of an inch, 1 inch and so forth. The, for the video here, the reason why I say watch out for what type of acrylic you use is because in bonding acrylic, what's most important is having one of the most flat or smoothest surface as you can when you're putting two pieces together. Unlike metal, you can have different types of metal and use welding method to join where you're using two metal to metal and then the welding machine will actually have, depending on what type of welding machine you buy, will have a different substance of metal that bonds it together by melting or fusing two pieces together. This is similar, but again, we're using liquid, a chemical compound here, which, be careful, some of you may, be aller may have allergic reactions to it, so wear gloves if you want. Please read the instructions on the chemical bottle when you do buy it. I'll go make another video in the future. What type of chemicals are there or weld on chemicals are there to fuse two pieces of plastics together? So for that being said, I got two pieces here. I have both 3 8 One of them is a saw cut edge. Uh, I don't know if you can see properly. I'm going to try to glitter this. But a saw cut edge is just a regular saw, a miter saw that passed and cut this piece of acrylic here. The second is also just a scrap once again. It's a frosted sheet. This piece here was saw cut. You will see an indent groove there, a couple holes, but I actually sanded this part smooth as possible as I can. So what I use, I use a little sponge, which you can pick up at a regular Home Depot. So the sponge has two Velcro side edges and it has two different types of sponge layer. You have the regular soft sponge, so if I squeeze, sorry, if I squeeze this in, you can see it's very soft. Now the other side, it's pretty sturdy, very, very stiff. I used this side to sand all the pieces down. I believe this grid here is 120 grit sandpaper. So I use this to sand off the edges first and then I'll take the Velcro off and put the 1200 grid onto the other side and then keep filing it down or smooth it down up until you get a pretty smooth surface. Now the best way to flatten an edge when you have acrylic is going through a router. A router would give you one of the most flat, smooth surfaces as possible. It's not going to leave saw cut marks anywhere. 
So with the little bottle, there's a little technique when you use this bottle, guys. And ladies, sorry. When you're applying this glue, if you just tip it upside down, which I'm going to do right now, you will see the drops come out. If you can see there. The drops are coming out, okay? You don't want to do this because when you're bonding professional pieces together, you're going to have glue and spot marks everywhere on your acrylic. So if you're building a sump like what I do, you can't use that method. What you got to do is squeeze a bottle. If you can see there, squeeze a bottle as much as you can. I would say about 60% of the way, depending again how long of a piece you're gluing. So when you tip it upside down, the vacuum of the air is actually sucking the, the, um, the solution up. The air is sucking it out, sucking up. So if you see the bubbles in there, this prevents any liquid from dropping. So when you go to an acrylic piece, you can actually stop the air and you can press down very gently. Now you will see the drops come out if you see right there. But if I let go, the bubbles return again and there's no solution dropping. So that's one technique that I use. So going ahead with the saw cut piece, I'm going to show you how, if, uh, I'm going to point it right around there. Sorry if the camera angle is a little off. So here we go, I'm going to glue this piece. Again, I'm going to squeeze the bottle now, okay? Tip it upside down, the bubbles are coming out, and with one hand, I'm going to press down on the acrylic very gently, and I'm going to just uh, squeeze the bottle just a little bit so the acrylic glue comes out. If you can see there, I'm running the glue all the way across. Now if you probably just seen that jump, you see that there are dark spots. Let me use a pen. There's a dark spot there and there's a dark spot here. Because this wasn't a very smooth surface, you can see that what's happening here is that when I ran the glue from your right, sorry, your left to the right of the acrylic, there's a gap there. Now this part did not get fused. However, these two ends did. This is a very, very bad cut. So when you have acrylic that you want to bond or fuse together, be very careful you don't have these pieces. What I like to do sometimes is I will place a flat piece on acrylic. Whoops, there's a little bit of glue there. Um, place a flat piece on acrylic and see and put my face down right to the edge and see if I I'll see a little air gap in between. If I see an air gap and this piece was a saw cut, I'm going to have to go ahead and file away certain parts of this, uh, sorry, sand away certain parts of the acrylic. When you have a router cut piece, you're not going to have these joints. You're not going to have these air pockets and off cuts. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece. Now this piece here has a couple little dents and joints. However, this piece here is actually perfectly cut. And it's very, very smooth. So I'll show you once again. So again, what you want to do is squeeze the bottle about 60% of the way. Tip it upside down. You see the air bubbles come out. There we go. Air bubbles are coming up. So you're, now you're safe to go. You're not going to have any, um, any spots on the, the acrylic sheet on the base. Pressing the bottle, squeezing it. Now you will see there's a very smooth line of acrylic. Sorry, the glue solution. But then again, now it stopped. Okay, so if you guys seen that, there's a very nice dark shaded part from here all the way across up until that little dent that I had in the acrylic. This is what you call a perfect bond. Now this I achieved, this was a saw cut piece and I achieved this by using a sandpaper in two different grids. Again 120 grid for the blue and then the brown is a 1200 grid, 1200. The bonding time between this glue, the well on four that I'm using is one to three minutes for the fixture time. Now fixture time doesn't mean it's 100% glued yet so at that point from one to two minutes you don't want to touch your acrylic at all. Leave it alone. Anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes is the chemical portion of softening the two plastics so they're in the phases of being 
molded together or welded together as one uniform piece. Again, at this point, you don't want to start working on that piece by moving it, lifting it, or putting pressure on it. Because what's going to happen as soon as you put pressure, right now, if you hear from the tap, it's already pretty solid. But because of a chemical is still bonding and fusing it together, there's still a lot of soft sections in there. You want to allow at least 12 to 24 hours. I like to give it 48 hours for it to bond 100%. Small pieces, you're okay like this. For me to, for as a sample, I'm going to move it around. But in the future, when you guys do have pieces, um, give it a lot of time. Now, if you can see here, right, oh boy, right there. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, two different pieces right here. You have a piece that was glued here, but then it missed a big gap. However, this section here, you can see it's perfectly done. There's a little bit of uh, gap in between there. Now, what you can do for those gaps is you can use the weld on glue. You can use the weld on glue to run it again on the other side. So there you go. Now you have a sealed joint. I hope you guys can see this in the. Okay, yeah, there we go. So that's a that's a soft and perfect joint. Again, I all highly recommend everybody get a router cut edge unless you want to go through a whole bunch of acrylic and practice and play with it first. Hope you guys do like the video on how to glue or weld acrylic. If you guys have any questions, post them below. I will be posting more posting more videos on how to do it yourself acrylic pieces and um, again this you can build anything you want in the future alright guys thank you for watching Primal Reef stay tuned for another video on do it yourself